Tuesday. Every. Y'all here every Tuesday? What? He here every Tuesday. This nigga be glued to this shit. This nigga has done every interview possible. Hey, man, somebody has to give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Without this shit? <laughs> Listen, man. She gonna stay here? He stay in uh, North Carolina. He be driving down to do this shit. He do he. I come through just to get down every now and then. And then he get down here. I think he got a show. Damn. This nigga working. Everybody working, man. Damn. He's working. That's so dope, nigga. Appreciate it. Damn. We got the OG in here, man. Hey, man. I'm so excited. But I ain't even bring no old spices. One of the shit. oldest uh, niggas to come on, tell this jokes. Nigga. This nigga, I don't yeah. even know where to start with the intro. He has literally been on the goat thing that. Come on. Black entertainer would want to be on right. movies, and TV, then right. and then some on. writing right. on the road. Come on, talk shit. Talk. This is one of the real life rock stars of the comedy game. Come on, man. This motherfucker done did so much shit that we don't even know about, man. Nice. Been writing on some of the number one shows on Eating TV. everything. Showing up. <laughs> Not, got yeah. Old Spice commercial. Nigga got his own body wash. <laughs> no cap. <care. laughs> Come on. Yeah. Nigga be this crying on the commercial. <laughs> This bitch is my old spice. I'm like, you should take your old spice. He got his own old spice. This nigga walking around smelling like pirate ship wood. Hold on, man. Hold on. (laughs) Drip wood. Drip wood. (laughs) That nigga got some pirate ship wood or some shit. (laughs) But yeah. He dead serious when they touch it. Did you touch my old spice? (laughs) Give him a whole rundown. (laughs) Bitch, my old spice is in the (laughs) middle. And see, out of all of that, bro, this nigga got all the accolades that a nigga can have. Wait a minute, all, all the accolades. By, by what? In seasons? I don't even count them no more. Oh, I just know oh, that he be on. He got something to do oh, with it at this ass. point. About ten? All, all of them. them. <laughs> the fuck? All of them. Nigga. How many did they have? So Eight. good that you got to be on camera. You done what? wrote too much good shit. Nigga, we done gave you, we done gave you two more seasons. In Come the on. <laughs> just off top. Oh, okay. Just off top. Man, we gonna man. round up. Yeah. At least by about two. By two. By two. By two. No by show 12. has ever been longer than however. Man, nigga did 87 seasons. <laughs> nigga did 39. He condensed them. And <laughs> they was on seven, son. <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, but out of all them highlights and accolades, man, you gotta make sure that you say that this nigga from Chicago, man, none oh, other God. than oh. Dion. Cold. Come on, man. Hey! It's all you doing. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 Hell yeah. yeah. God, like, God brought me. God, but God gave you the jokes. Facts. Yeah. Facts. To, to, because it's a lot of motherfuckers telling jokes. Right. right. And they ain't got studios. Right. right. So <laughs> it's a lot of motherfuckers got God and they got studios. They got God and they got studios. So therefore, I'm just saying, y'all walk through here. I was like, damn. Nigga, y'all security system is like, God damn. Motherfucker let you know you walking in the white that that motherfucker. Welcome to 85. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker tell you you got COVID and no shit, cap. nigga. This, this nigga sick. You have a fever. <laughs> you have a fever. This nigga sick. <laughs> this nigga sick. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> Yo, you the coldest, OG. Y'all niggas, man. Thank you, Appreciate man. it, man. Thank Pioneers you. like you, man, to pay the way in the game and still doing it like longevity. That's what I take from being on the road with Sid and DL and Earthquake. It's like, it's a different level. Like, it's comedy, but it's like a different... You see why these niggas are the MJs? and You dig what I'm saying? And Kareem Abdul, you see why. You feel me? And you one of those ones. Like, I used to sit and watch Comic View as a child. Mm -hmm. 
and you would come out with the pen and pad. Yeah. And I'd be like, but, it's oh, about every, but every time I knew, I'd be like, this motherfucker come with it. I don't give a fuck who's on it. This nigga gonna have something. Yeah, and how you yeah, delivered yeah. and everything was so poised, I was like, you know what? Stage control. Man, Stage yeah. presence. And you I, showed, I learned a lot from that shit. That, you man. showed Thank some you, shit, too, that you was writing these jokes. When a lot of times, you know, part of stand-up is you make it look effortless. Right. But right. you would show, like, you done took time and crafted these yeah. shit with the strike doing shit. Like, it was funny in in, in of itself, yeah. but right. it was also showing motherfuckers that was coming up, like, when we got ready, to, when I started doing comedy, like, oh, this nigga, yeah. oh, he put some thought into this shit. Like, oh, okay, right. so yeah. this is, and like, I understood what a workout room was before I ever worked out doing comedy, seeing that shit, yeah. so yeah. Mm. And I appreciate it. It's, it's uh... You know, it's, I've always felt like it ain't how you laugh, it's you, you, them laughing. Right, right, the point. Right. I think niggas get caught up in how they laugh. Right, right, right. It ain't, right. That ain't the point, it's how you laugh, you know. A motherfucker bombing is funny, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I actually, yeah, you laugh yeah. at that. Yeah. And I, I thought, like, who would make that funny? I would. And so I purposely... <laughs> do a joke that don't work on every mm. set. Mm. And it becomes just as funny as anyone that I wrote. Mm. Because it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. funny to see me fail. Mm. Right. Mm. You know, but you mastered that. But yeah, but you got to be confident enough to fail. Right. You know? And yeah. so, I, I know it sounds trippy, but yeah. it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's art of making that, it's, it's an art to making not funny funny. Right. You, know yeah. I mean? you mastered yeah. anything that can be, because anything can be funny. Anything can be funny. Right. And that's, that's how I look at it. Right. Shit, fucking up can be funny. Yeah. I feel like you, Dave, <laughs> when it comes to the pen, you feel me? Like, because I worked on my material and my material has, it's been improv and jokes I've written, and I worked the way where I'm like, okay, that's good, that's great. Got to this point, but I see the level of penmanship that I'm like, okay, these motherfuckers are writing. Yeah, yeah. I need, I want to go in the writer's room <laughs> and see how they. I want to see the thought process. Like I love that shit. I want to see the thought process yeah, of yeah, how yeah. they come up with that. Yeah. Cause still, as a nine years in the game, I'm still trying to figure out premise. Punchline, yeah. set up. Okay, you may know it, but like you said, anything can be funny. And right. that's why I admire comedians like y'all because y'all will sit there and be like, nigga, it's never a dull moment when you one of those true comedians. Yeah. I got a new 30 minutes anytime I want. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this though, man, because I I've seen you at all kind of comedy rooms across the country. Like, no matter what level of success that you got to. You never stop going to the workout rooms and mm. showing love to the yeah. to the Uncle Rails and the, the Red Kivas and Absolutely. you know what I mean and the shit like yeah. that. So like you stayed in the circuit Cause, around cause, the community. That's, that's that's where the real shit is. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it, ain't, it ain't doing them stages. Mm -hmm. If you know, you I mean y'all niggas do arenas and shit. Like you know sitting on that stage. That's one thing. But I'ma say this about y'all. Y'all motherfuckers like treat an arena like a club. club. Facts. Y'all do. That's how mine stays. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers be in there talking directly to this motherfucker sitting right here and shit. Almost like you could touch the people. Me personally, when I'm at an arena, I'm kind of locked in and doing my shit or whatever. But I'm at a comedy club. I could touch motherfuckers and when see them and Bring them in your world. Yeah, bring, bring, them, bring them to my world. Or whatever, right. You know, but... It's just, it's just that, it's just that practice. You know what I mean? As far as just constantly getting out there, making it happen, and, and, and touching the people. You, you got, you got to touch the people. Me personally, and I, I tell y'all this: this is a, a lot of comedians. If you're listening right now, writing material, man, isn't just always sitting up. This is living and shit. You know what I mean? And you got to put yourself, you got to put yourself in situations you wouldn't normally be in on a regular basis. Right, right. If you do that, then you're going to come up with material all the fucking time. If you're doing the same shit every day, yeah. you're going to be talking about the same shit. And you're mm -hmm. going to be f doing the same fucking material because you're fucking around, eating the same food, mm -hmm. going to the same fucking bar, yeah. hang with these same motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Early, one day, one yeah. day, nigga, just go up and go to, nigga, go to a dog show one day. <laughs> Like straight up, yeah, right. just go, just go sit in yeah. that motherfucker and right. just sit there. You're gonna be like, what 
the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> and then you're going to go to the club like, nigga, I just went to this dog show. And right. These niggas are spending 15000 on the dog. Right, right. Nigga, I'm buying a car with 15000 You know, right. you going. It's right. informative, too. You off to the right. Right. You ain't even really writing. Right, it's there. You, you, just, you, you just, just you went. Right. And that is right as hell. Right. Yeah, but niggas be going to the same shit all the time. And so they talk about the same shit. Nigga, I would go to a motherfucking medieval castle, nigga, and just sit in that (laughs) motherfucking nigga dead ass. Talk about medieval, nigga. Yo, nigga, I sit there and I come out, nigga, I got a new five. And then a new ten. And yeah, yeah, that's how you you do that (laughs) shit, though. Right, right. Gotta live life. Get your hands up early. Go to that farm. Bring me another (laughs) (laughs) thing. Fast. The meat ready. That's what it is. Yeah. But what what kind of life? Away, (laughs) away. I had enough weed. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the turkey legs for all the children. <laughs> <laughs> Feed the peasants, all of them. <laughs> so what started you? Like, who, who inspired you? Where, where did this journey did, start? You know, can yeah. everybody say, comedian, but sometimes it didn't pick us. Shit, right. In Chicago, man, sitting up my boy. This nigga named Will. I nigga. Just always thought I thought differently. Mm-hmm. And he was like, man, I bet you won't go on stage. Bet me like $50, right? I was like, all right, I'll go up. They wouldn't let me up for like three weeks. And then finally, they let me on stage. And like, you know, I, I knew then, like, my purpose. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of motherfuckers don't know their purpose. Mm-hmm. You down here living, you don't know your purpose at mm-hmm. all. And motherfuckers is miserable. You gotta mm-hmm. know your fucking purpose. Yeah, and I don't give a fuck what it is. This niggas mm-hmm. that's parking attendants sitting there trying to go, what the fuck, you know? But you probably was in a relationship with a motherfucker and you was locked in a relationship and you didn't live your purpose. Right. You know? Right. A lot of niggas is like that. A lot of right. niggas right now sitting at home, probably watching this, sitting with they boo, yeah. and not living their purpose. Cause they in a relationship. Yeah, they purpose. You, you, chase put, you chase So baby, you hey, said get single hey. and live your purpose. Yeah. And yeah. fuck these hoes, man. Uh, I'm just saying. Fuck these hoes. You gotta fuck these hoes. Don't be a plug. Get out of here, nigga. Get you fucked. Yeah. Some niggas live in your pussy. Yeah, nigga. Get unemployed and get You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you got to live your purpose and your purpose. And then get in a relationship. That's a relationship like. A retirement plan. Nigga, it's like ah, <laughs> kind of a retirement plan. <laughs> no, a lot of motherfuckers do that. They no, go I mean, with a relationship start chasing looking for somebody some else shit. Security right. and shit. Yeah. Right. Do your purpose yeah. and then get in a relationship. You right. just, niggas be a stepdad before they make ten thousand dollars around the world. You don't even know how to build a real dad, but you a stepdad right. first. Right. That's a joke. You, you a stepdad before you a real dad? That's crazy. You on your little pre trial and all this. This nigga got three months of script. This nigga got a. Oh, my Lord. Step that side. I'm about to ready to cancel this. All right, I think I got I enough experience for my own kid. <laughs> I got enough experience as father is. There you go. That's hilarious. Yeah. You can still follow him before yeah. a rip. It's niggas out there that's like that. Hell yeah. If you in a relationship too fast, you a stepfather before you a real father? Yeah, because yeah, she already Weird. got kids and Shit. she pregnant with your baby. Your baby ain't here yet. You gotta think about it. I'm gonna step daddy. I'm gonna step daddy for a real dad. You don't got no kids. If you ain't got no kids, you I ain't gonna lie. When I was young man, I really didn't feel like. You gonna switch the pack? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was my responsibility. <laughs> I mean, I'll watch him, but I ain't gonna tell you if the nigga do some shit. Like, oh, you wasn't gonna say that? Hell no. Nah, you know, no. <laughs> nigga do whatever he want. That nigga just jumping out shit. I'm like, that nigga tripping. Did, did you buy this bomb shit? Who? The, the baby. I couldn't even buy myself. That's what I'm saying. He using you like I'm using you, bitch. <laughs> We fighting for the same resources. He got a bed. I need a bed. I'm like, man, he up one. Y'all both need hey, it. Hey. That nigga up one. That hey. nigga got shoes and shit. I'm trying to be like little man, man. That nigga, that nigga cold, man. No <laughs> cap. Yeah. That shit real. That's crazy. You got to find your purpose. That, that's how the stage hit me. The first time I went up there, I, coming down, I knew, all right, this is what the fuck I was supposed to do. Sure. So that's how your shit hit you, too? When yeah, you said yeah, you finally, yeah, 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 you knew like it? That. It's like, I couldn't sleep that night the first time I did that shit. I stayed up I still all can't. Night. After the show, I can't go to bed for shit in the world. That's that adrenaline. Yeah. My stomach started hurting oh, like a bitch after I did my first set. 
I, I felt like I got kicked in my shit. I had to go sit yeah. on the curb, but I knew. I was like, this is what the fuck I do. Yeah, it's, it's a whole yeah. feeling. My it's, first show was on the perk set. I was tripping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't know what it was. A nigga was like, you finna do comedy. I'm like, you, nigga, I'm finna rap, nigga. Y'all got me fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you was on the perk set. Nigga, I'm finna rap. All right, y'all, listen, man. The giveaway today, low, the 96 Pella is getting given. I don't know about this one. What do you mean? I'm saying this. I'm proving this, man. We might have to swap this one. Look, listen, it's a 96 for the wound. Everybody wants it. The 9 to 5 the truck stop working, the 18-wheeler driver, the UPS worker. They've been asking. Rain, sleet, or snow. They need a car to drive the rain, sleet, or snow. They've been asking me for yeah. it. All right, who can do it? Make sure you get the tickets, man. Hit the link. I'm putting my hands on this one. This is my personal stage. Personal stage. You can win a 96 at my personal stage. It's live right now. Click the link in his bio, my bio. Or go to anarchcustom.com, man. And get your tickets. Click the link. Get the tickets. Click the link. <laughs> no. February 25th. Get where we're going to be at. Philadelphia at the Carlos Miller Theater. 7 o'clock. Same thing. Every time. 7 o'clock. Hey, y'all going to the Carlos show? It's at 7 o'clock. Damn. You did good your first time on stage? Nigga was looking at me though. Uh, you did good on your first time on stage? Yeah, nigga, I got like a... Back then, if two niggas stood up, that was a standing ovation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, once niggas get on their feet, it can be one nigga. One nigga. That's all I need, yeah. standing ovation. Hey, well, I got an old, I got, I got an old shit. I got an old shit. Somebody up. Yeah, nigga, no, I had yeah. two motherfuckers stand up for me, man. And I was like, Damn. hell no, nah, this is like dope. Right. And I was killing. I only had like like five minutes. And and I ended up getting on this show called Comic Justice. Four I months. I remember that shit. Four months after I started. Hey, Jamal Jamal host? Yep. Yep, I remember that shit. I got on yep. that shit four months after that. And then eight months after that, I was on Def Jam. I had Ooh. just started. And wow. I only had, now when Def Jam hit, I only had like uh, 14 minutes, right? And I did seven on Def Jam. Damn. And after that, the shit blew up. They sent me on tour. And I was supposed to do 20 minutes. Nigga. Ooh, how that is? When you gotta nigga, add them extra six. Nigga, I was on that motherfucker finding out everybody's birthday. Who got a birthday? Who got a birthday today? Who got a birthday? Who birthday? Who from out of town? Right. Nigga, all oh, that shit, nigga. Oh, what's your name? What's your name, baby? <laughs> I did that shit for about 10 minutes. <laughs> then I did my other seven. Right, you good. And then I like played a song, like, y'all remember yeah, this? Yeah. I did that shit for about five minutes. <laughs> Stretch that shit out. Then, nigga, I was off that motherfucker. I did three cities <laughs> and the tour manager. Like, y'all remember this? Nigga, just. Nigga, play the music, man, for this shit. That's hilarious. Nigga, so, so, but who remember the Tizzy Rose? That's my time. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Good night, everybody. All right, y'all. Nah, Thank y'all. you, Seattle. Out of here. Out of here. Oh, that shit. That shit. Crazy, baby. Oh, oh, yeah, I say, I say the third show. Right. Uh, Kid Capri was spinning and all that shit. <laughs> Lights and shit. Kid Capri. Def Jam shit, nigga. Joe Torrey's hosting. Come out shit. Third show, nigga. I ain't, I ain't doing that well. They know I'm out there bullshitting, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking I'm getting away with it, but I'm not. Nigga came to me and was like, uh, here go your ticket. Gave me my ticket to go home. From the tour? Yeah. See, Damn. Because I, I ain't had enough material. I was Damn. bullshitting. I'm sitting in the airport, yeah. nigga. I got my Def Jam hat on, jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to go home, nigga. I don't even want to go to Chicago. <laughs> you look like you but bought all this. Nigga, nigga, I got all that shit on, nigga. I'm Damn. sitting there, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I didn't even want to go home because right. I told everybody I was on tour. Right, right. So if I went home, niggas would be like, What's, what, what happened right. to the tour? Right. So I went home, nigga, and, and I ain't go outside for like, Two weeks, nigga. I wouldn't go. Damn. Damn. Niggas think you on the tour. I stayed in the rest of the tour, nigga. I don't know what the tour. The tour was like shit, like some months, but I only had like, I think I had like six dates, seven dates. Uh-huh. And I did like three. And then that's when they took me off and shit. 
Damn. And you was the first home, nigga to nigga, quarantine. I was, <laughs> nigga, I was hurt, nigga. I was hurt. So what, what I know that that boosts your, your motivation. So this is what happened. When I sat there, I was like, I got to start writing. Right. And that was the, that was the shit mm -hmm. that made me start writing. Mm -hmm. And I started writing and writing and writing. And then after that, motherfuckers started seeing me writing Second City and then in Chicago. They see me writing sketches and shows and jokes and writing and writing and writing. But it took that to make me the fucking writing shit. Right. And shit, after that, that's what kicked that shit off. And next thing you know, I was writing for Ricky Smiley. Uh, when he was hosting Comic View, and that shit led to me writing for Conan O'Brien and writing for all kind of great motherfuckers mm -hmm. and shit. But if them niggas didn't kick me off that tour, you wouldn't put that spark up on you. Oh, yeah. you still be. Y'all remember this song? Nigga, I still. Two <laughs> zero. <laughs> I still be. I still be. Two zero. I'm fucking like. Two zero. Two zero. Where the Tauruses at? <laughs> Ain't no Tauruses? Ain't no Tauruses. Ain't no Tauruses. Niggas did it. My man, you going to the bathroom? All right, please. He got that shit walk, hey, don't he? Don't he got that shit hey. walk? You spot a nigga going to the bathroom. Yeah, you spot a nigga going to the bathroom. What you doing? Look, hey, How you doing? Hey, they going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, no cap, no cap. Nigga, yeah, but nigga, that's why yeah. it's, it's, it's fun for us to hear y'all journey. To be like, all right, what yeah. sparked that that pin me shit? Cause you gotta understand, we hear it, we hear it as niggas in the game, and I just be sitting back like, bro, they do it with such a ease, man. Yeah. And it be like, <clears throat> everybody can attest to this. We all think of all funny shit, but it be just how we're gonna pin it. Right. How are we gonna write it? Like you say, experiences they they write itself, but it be like. You can tell when a motherfucker put that pen on that pad, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a system, and you right. gotta figure it out. And that shit didn't hit me until, to be real with you, that shit didn't hit me until about eight years into the game, maybe seven. Mm -hmm. I know how to write some shit or whatever, but as far as that shit coming fluently like that, right. nigga, where I can sit back and, you know, do like I do now when I, you know, write shows and write for award shows and all that shit. That mm -hmm. shit is, is just yeah. like I'm conditioned right now, you know? Mm -hmm. And then when you're working for a late night TV show, you gotta do that shit every, every night. fucking yeah. night. Mm -hmm. You gotta do mm -hmm. that shit. You gotta motherfucking, not only do you gotta write it, you gotta produce it. You gotta motherfucking cast it. You gotta mm -hmm. get props. You gotta get all that shit. And, and you performed it a lot of those shit. times. Yeah, yeah. And I performed a lot of it too. So when a lot of people, that shit, yeah. a lot of people don't know that comedians are, we go through a lot of trouble. So how do you stay in that mind state knowing that you're a regular person and you go through your own shit and you're dealing with real life shit, but you got to go up here and write a fucking <clears throat> joke? Well, that's the, that's the part that motherfuckers don't, don't see and shit, right. you know? They don't see what niggas go through, you know? Right. I know it's many times, nigga, all oh, y'all, y'all done been out fucking miserable. Bitch tripping, or your boys stole some shit or whatever, and somebody come in front of you, hey, man, let's take a picture, let's yeah. You gotta you put got that smile on, yeah. and you gotta do that shit, and that shit just be like, you ain't even, you ain't never in your mind frame, you know what I mean? Right. So, what you have to do is you have to know that the misery is the job. Once you realize that, then everything else will kind of fall in place. You won't be as disappointed because expectation brings heartache. Uh -huh. yeah. and you can't have that shit. You can't have, you can't be expecting shit. You have to go into this motherfucker and be like, yo, I, I'm going in here and I'm bombing tonight. And whatever good come out this motherfucker, I'm gonna put this shit to the side. I know you should look at it the other way, like I'm gonna go ahead and do good or whatever, but that expectation gonna bring you heartache. Me personally, it just don't work for me. I go in there and go, I got 10 jokes, two gonna work. Let's go. And I go in that motherfucker and I bomb my ass off. But them two, the motherfuckers right there, gonna motherfucker be fire. I'm gonna grab them two, put them in the bag, and I'm gonna write 10 more. And them two of them gonna work. And I'm gonna put them in the bag. And I'm gonna keep doing that shit. And then you go ahead until I got a motherfucker. Is that the working process until uh, now you about to go shoot your <clears> special? Because I know you ain't in the mind state that I'm finna go bomb. Nigga, you got an hour worth of bombs. Nigga, I. But I, you're not afraid of that failure. But I ain't afraid of right. That's the point that I'm right, making right, right, that you right, can't right. be afraid of that failure. Yeah. You got to go you gotta in go the fight. mind you gotta frame. Go fight. Like, yeah, because motherfuckers will go, you'll go to an open mic 
see niggas ripping and shit, you won't even have the balls to go. You'll go up there doing your old shit or whatever just because the, the energy in the room is popping like that. Mm -hmm. You be like, let me do my old shit so I can stay afloat. Mm -hmm. And that's how it really like, is. Nah. You do not want to bomb. Yeah. Like, you worried about bombing in front of motherfuckers because they going to be on it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nah. You ain't Fuck even trying your new shit. shit. Oh, my mom, that's what I mean, right? To, this is the time you try all the new shit. This is when you try all, all your new shit. New shit. Every time, be, every time I work. do a comedy club and I'm there doing five, six, seven shows, the first show I do, mm -hmm. that's, that's going to be the worst show. Because that's going to be the show I'm trying all my new shit out oh, yeah. that I can find out what I'm going to use for the rest of the week. But that first show, every first show, Thursday, first show Friday, whatever that is, that motherfucker is goddamn terrible. <laughs> so now when they can see this, they're like, don't get the first show. Yeah. <laughs> and the you first one was my girl, they got the first show on Saturday. But, but, but you, you five five. This is for your mental. But it's yeah. funny to watch me bomb. Right, yeah. right, 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 yeah. right. right. Yeah, Dion <laughs> sold out all weekend except Thursday. <laughs> 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 Not the first show on Friday. Yeah. But the first show really fried. The first show really What's the importance of you know doing shows throughout the week? Cause I I seen you just did your special and everything, and that was phenomenal. Thank and you. then I seen you come do a weekend on the road, and then come back through the week, and then still do three, four, five shows in the middle of the week. How important is that for comedians? So I'm in a position now where you know I did the special. When I dropped the special, I went right into filming. Mm -hmm. And so I haven't been able to live because I've been pretending to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. right. oh, shit. And when you're doing that shit, I can't live. So I really ain't been nowhere. Another. So I, I wrote material before I went to go film and I had a whole bunch of shit written. But when I started filming, I wasn't living. So therefore, I, I didn't have no jokes. Mm -hmm. So I had one show that I was supposed to do in Atlantic City at that time. So I went to go work out the shit that I did have and try to see if that shit worked. And uh, ho thank God, like at least fucking 40% of that shit worked. And so therefore I had enough material to do the go, show go through shit, the week, right? go through it. But I was like, like right now, nigga, I'm jokeless like a motherfucker because I, I even lived. Right. I've been filming and shit. Right. So once I'm done filming, then I can I can live and right. I can go out and I can do this. That's your whole process. So when you did your special, you like them jokes over with. I ain't telling them ever again. They're done. Damn. Done. Never touching the stage. Not saying yeah. none of that shit. So what I will do is I will do some jokes. Old, that's from like a way older special. Right. Like something that's like I did on my first special or some shit right. like that. Right. I'll, I'll regurgitate those and use those as a bridge until my other shit work. Right, right, but as right. far as anything from my last special and the special before that and the shit that I dropped on YouTube, mm -hmm. you would never hear any of that shit ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's the job. Like, we ain't... Yeah. We ain't rocket scientists and shit, right. you know? We ain't construction workers, nigga. Right. We, you, you think, <laughs> nigga, that's it. Like, you think about what's right. funny and you But they swear shit. this shit just be like, y'all be like this all the time, and I, bitch, didn't I just tell you? Yeah. I just went through some shit, and yeah, your right. breath is stinking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you about to get cut the fuck out. <laughs> but take this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know how many motherfuckers I let down on a daily basis? Niggas come around and be like, hey, and I just be like, the fuck is wrong with you? I, I just, you know what I mean? Like, every comic ain't no motherfucking pie in the face. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm just not, nigga. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Like, I let down a lot of people. They come around thinking I'm just soft shoeing and tap dancing and shit, and I'm, I'm more like a cerebral motherfucker. I go in the room, shut the fuck up, listen to everybody, right. and then leave out that motherfucker and write some shit. Right. But I listen to everybody in the fucking room. And I learn how to play the room that way too, you know? Right. Go in the room, shut the fuck up. If you talking about dogs and you talking about how much you hate cats and how you love cars and shit and how you love fish and shit, <laughs> when it's time for me to talk, I can, I can agree with all that shit y'all right. said. Mm -hmm. And I probably disagree with it. Right, but you know what to play the room. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know what to say. Right. <clears throat> In order to lead that motherfucker in, you know, right. yeah. and have motherfuckers going, that motherfucker's great. And I walk out the door like, God damn. 
You know what I mean? But it's learning how to play the room, though. And all that shit helped, like, in writer's roles, too. Writer's room is great, too. See, the thing, I'm... I'm, Give you another tip. If y'all get a motherfucking show, anybody get a show, do not fill your fucking writer's room with a bunch of motherfuckers that think like you and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be bullshit. Mm -hmm. Every writer's room I have, nigga, I got a motherfucker in there I can't stand. I hate that. I can't stand that motherfucker. Yeah. He going to hold it. Because me and this motherfucker going to constantly fucking but go that's at that's going to be the shit. Which is... Yeah. Let roll. Now... Okay. So I, I can give a nigga a real, a real tutorial about Atlanta. Some Atlanta shit. Break it down. Oh, yeah, we going to break it down. A lot of people be saying that they from Atlanta and doing all that. And I ain't never really went to no APS school, man. You feel me? Like Atlanta public school. You got four to count it. Now I'm a four to count. Now let's break it down. Let's break it down. Shows that made up. Yeah. Every show you know got conflict. Yeah. In. You know what I mean? Like Martin. It was Pam and Martin yeah. and Gene, Gene. You know, it's conflict. So why would you have your room on some old uh, everybody getting together yeah, shit? Your writer's room. Shit. Your writer's room got to be just as fucking com- conflicted, conflicted as the fucking show is. Yeah. So anytime you get a motherfucker, <clears throat> you see a motherfucker, you be like, I hate this nigga. <laughs> <clears throat> Hire him. Mm, <laughs> Hire that mom. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Like that. That's real. Like, man, fuck that nigga. You like, nah, that's man, real. That's the nigga to get. That's the nigga to get. Cause right. then you and that nigga gonna sit back and argue constantly. Mm-hmm. And you gonna come up with shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You motherfuckers just be having different approaches. That's the shit. Yeah, you different like, opinions. Oh, this motherfucker, you think like different this? Different perception. Man, I had this one nigga that used to work on this show of mine, the show I had uh, um, called uh, called Black Box and shit. I had on TBS and shit. Tech, yeah, 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 Black Box shit. I had this black dude on the show. He hated black women. He ain't fuck with no black culture. He ain't fuck with none. He, he a nigga. He black. He just was like, yeah, like black people embarrass him and shit. And this <laughs> motherfucker was like, yeah, I don't like the women and none of that shit. And this nigga was used to say that shit all the time. And niggas was like, keep that nigga away from here. And I was like, nah. Right, hire that nigga. Right. We hired that nigga and nigga, we wrote the, me and that nigga argued every day, nigga. Yeah. And wrote the best shit in the world. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you ever get a room, nigga, get get the motherfucker you hate in that motherfucker. Damn. So how do you go scout a motherfucker you don't like? We, you only here because we hate Nigga, you be in comedy clubs, nigga. You see niggas. Right. You know niggas. You know niggas you don't like, nigga. That's so it's, the it's like you're giving them a job, but it's like it's to get the best shit. It's to get the best shit. Right. Like, there's some niggas you don't like in this motherfucker. You be like, nah, I hate your that pussy, But I got a job for you. Don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sound weird, right, nigga. Right, right. It sound weird, but... Huh? It's some bullshit, I it's guess. It's some bullshit, but you got to put your ego aside in order to hire that motherfucker, in order to get with it. You know what I mean? I mean, it worked. It's a t- I'm telling you, it, it nigga. So how do you keep it on that basis instead of a nigga coming in trying to play the, the snake role and trying to get you out when you done got the nigga high? Well, it's your show. Nah, nah, he, he ain't going to do that. Like, he already know it's my show. Right. So therefore, he ain't going to do it like that, but he going to be opinionated. Right. And that's what I'm hiring him for. I'm hiring a <laughs> motherfucker to be opinionated. I want to know why you hate black women so much, nigga. You can ask right. that nigga offside of the work. So, talk to talk to that nigga on the phone or something when you get tired. <laughs> I ain't going to get you into my workspace, nigga. Oh, damn. Oh, I I'm want that nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah, nigga. I don't like that women. Speaker phone. <laughs> <laughs> man. Fuck right on that speaker. Bitch ass nigga. I love black women, ho. This nigga here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but if I had him in the record, this nigga like you said, he gonna say some shit you never would have thought of. You would have never thought of. That's what they. That's what they do because you don't think like them. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Motherfucker, you gonna say some shit you? What? What? You gonna say some shit? You gonna be like, nigga? What the fuck is you talking about? Damn. But then you gonna be like. 
That's an episode. That's episode. Did you see the yeah. game taking it that way? Like even when you started writing, you was like, all right. But you said, but you said the writing is what kind of got you. Well, back it started. Into the space. I, I had this other show that was gonna be on Comedy Central called Super Black, and I hired a whole bunch of niggas, mm -hmm. and we sat in that motherfucker, ate chicken, and smoked weed. <laughs> Nigga, we kicked it in that motherfucker, nigga. Yeah. Ain't wrote one good episode. Damn, yeah. But we had a good time with that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we was black as fuck in that motherfucker, nigga. Y'all got an episode? Yeah, we was just... Nigga, we had the camera on. But that's the nigga you need to be hired right now. <laughs> Tell me, man. Yeah. Yeah. That should have been the show. When are we going to do the show? Yeah. That's the nigga you fired. Yeah. Yeah. When are we going to write this episode? Fuck out of here, man. That's the way we going to write this episode, man. Yeah, yeah, man. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? On the nigga? next episode of Niggas, nobody likes. <laughs> nigga, next thing you know, them niggas is like, yeah, grab y'all shit. Fuck out of here. You was in an era where it wasn't no two-week notice, no nothing. They yeah. just look and be like, hey, nigga, uh, guys, like, all you guys are fired, OK? They be like, thank you. Later. Bye. Grab your shit. You like, wait, 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 wait. Dion, like, after that blunt. <laughs> <laughs> Let that be the last one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell, tell you right don't now, you don't want to hit going on that black. Hey. <laughs> We're having a blackout. Oh, we're, going, we're, going, we're going black for a day or two. Pack your shit. Pack your They're shit. They're not calling you They're back. They're not calling you back. Guys, Guys, can we just flip the set for the all-white show? <laughs> <laughs> That's smooth. That's so have you ever, well, you say you ain't scared to fail, but like, What's your favorite room? Because I come from theater. So the arenas, I know the different feeling from theater, arena, comedy club. My favorite is always comedy club because yeah. it's intense. I can bring them into my world. I know that the arena is more so like, okay, here's the show. Right, and theater show. is kind of like, it's in between. Yeah. It depends on how it's set up. Oh, so yeah. it's like, what's your favorite to perform at? Comedy club. Comedy club is 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 my my favorite because it's less people. Right. And when it's less people, you can you can fix a problem easier that Quick. way. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, mm -hmm. you, can, you can you can alternate your shit and you know whatever at a comedy club and shit. But theaters, you know, they they dope, but it's intimate. Right. Comedy club is more intimate and shit. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so I always, I always go to a room. I just be popping up the yeah. shit. I How did it down them? here in Atlanta. I How did. you find them? Shit, I just call. Well, you plug in. Yeah, this call and shit. Yeah, yeah, all you gotta do is doing something. Yeah. I'm sliding through. Right, right. They right. be like, all right, shit, yeah, come on. Where you oh, popped shit. up at? <clears throat> huh? Where you popped up at? Uh, Atlanta Comedy. Comedy the one in the underground, the new one. Nah, nah. You got a new one. Maybe you say you got one in the underground. Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, Night, but it's underground though, like. The comedy club under, I'm from, I'm from the city. Yeah, it sound dangerous. <laughs> it ain't dangerous, it's just like, nigga, you want nigga to come under the ground? To... Is that the <laughs> There's already too much shit going on on top of the ground. Like, <laughs> you know how long it's gonna take for niggas to run from the, here to that That's car? That's what I'm saying, it sound dangerous. <laughs> Listen, you never been top of security, go, what? I'm from the city. Right. That's why when he said, I got it on the ground, I'm like, <laughs> where? At underground. Literally, Yeah. under that bitch. And one of the, like, uh, people don't understand the underground was a, a monumental place in Atlanta downtown. When you came and stopped at Five Points and you went around that little corner and you went up under that underground, nigga, that was the most people I ever seen in my life one time. And I ain't even get a chance to go in underground. I just looked and I ain't seen them heads and people. It had to be almost like 5,000 people downtown. I said, nigga, I'm not walking through that shit. Nigga, where was your free nigga? Hell no, nah, nigga, this just a regular day in the city, nigga. When that <laughs> shit was popping, everybody wearing fake shit down there. Can, can I ask a question? Big like, black bags. Everybody had big black bags. Down in Atlanta, y'all got speakers in every place, right? Yeah. Y'all play music everywhere. Yeah. That shit is wild. Like restaurants. Yeah. It'd be loud as hell in there, the too. Cleaners. Yeah. Target, like niggas yeah. just beating music everywhere. Thanks. Like yeah. all the time. This is a musical ass town like that, huh? You ain't never been to a Target in, 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 in Tennessee? Yeah, Target, you know, they be playing Target shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now yeah. here, well, nigga, they be like, like rich nigga shit, crack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Puzzle, they were playing their goddamn Jaheen. Just in case. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> <I'm like>, yeah, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 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 Nigga, they be jamming, nigga. The grocery store low-key get freaky. Nigga, they be jamming. The grocery store get freaky. They'll play some jams on there. Step. 
Back you dancing to they be you know, Publix and Kroger be having black managers. You ain't really see no white manager in no Publix and Kroger lately. Unless you go to a white town. Which one you go to? That's what I'm about you to go say. outside the city. Yeah, Either way in Atlanta, the but they black, black on black, they black. Yeah, that shit go on. crazy. You go to Publix on Camp Creek, they play pretty Ricky. But that one really, 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 really. <laughs> at Atlantic Station, that shit ain't even a whole public. That's a piece of public. Yeah. It's public. It's that's like, public. It's public. It's public. It's public. You go to a grocery store. <laughs> one, one, one more question. Do a lot of niggas down here, they trick on a lot of, a lot of women down here? <laughs> what? Yeah. Spend all of their money. Damn, I can tell. Spend all of my shrimp at all. A nigga act like they don't. I ain't buy no pussy. Bruh, you just bought that whole washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> it means a trick. It means a trick to you about a uh, washing machine, my boy. It means not even white clothes. <laughs> nigga, I had just met this chick down here, nigga, and she was just. I was like, yeah, we can hang out. She was like, cool. She was like, let me get two hundred so I can go get a bottle of wine. I'm like, oh, they bit by tricking, huh? No, 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 it's a lot of women selling pussy down here too. It ain't just that the niggas is coughing it up because they want to. They want that pussy, man. But look, so if you would have gave it a 200, you would have said, now bring my pussy back instead of change. But like, <laughs> so if, if you the mind state, oh, no. girl, I make you some pussy, he just gave me $200. Like, I needed it so bad. She, just, no, that, that she was gonna hit you with some more. That That's blew my mind off. and shit, I ain't gonna even lie. I was like, I Cause just, she got wine, but she you. still need gas money. <laughs> <laughs> like, you spent all the wine money, you got no gas? <laughs> So what you use to go to the wine store? Dang it. I was she, was, she was setting you up to hit you for a few more, because y'all was going to go out. And then, yeah. She told me to get oh, her yeah. Uber, and she was eight minutes away. I said, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even got eight minutes of <laughs> fare? <laughs> <laughs> Pull up, you eight men. I get in my car to come get you, bitch. If it's that serious, like that shit. Thir- I didn't even look. I said, send me your address. And then the fare was thirteen fifty. He ain't got thirteen fifty on that. You got a cash out card? I'm gonna send you thirteen fifty. I'm not saying you That's still fuck. Oh, I dude. still yeah. fuck. I still had to come out with 13 pictures. All right, bitch, I got 13 dollars. She hit me like, she hit me with the for real. You know how it's been at night? Oh, so I got to make the decision. <laughs> Again. Nigga, <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Nah, no cap, bro. Damn. We got to do better. <laughs> we got to do but better. But we in that stage, bro. You rarely ain't finna. It, free coochie is dying out. Just seem like free coochie just fading on out. No, it still exists. A bitch fucking you just cause she like you, man, that shit. Oh, we. You think so? She in California. She even faking it like she like you. She in California. Huh? Well, the never bitch fucking with you because she fuck with you. It's always my hood. Even if she fuck, listen. You just might not be around her, but it's always somebody else. Even if you fuck for free the first time, nigga, this, you gonna pay for the second and third, I'm telling you. Them hoes is trick. They tricky, they all there. They be like, ooh, I'm gonna get them some. Pull, 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 you like, man, she fall with me. And then before you know it, you done bought a whole washing machine. You done bought a whole. Is, did, you done bought Did this happen to you? Man, I don't know. This is this second washing machine reference. She gonna text me, too. She gonna text me, too. I seen your little interview. I ain't talking about you. I'm just saying, I done bought a washing machine for both. <laughs> oh, so that's what you do? You buy me a washing Hey, yeah. bitch, hey. And I'm just saying, you buy a washing no. machine and no dryer? I ain't even gonna cap. Whatever she got that washing machine from, it was, it was reasonable. <laughs> no, man. I, I said, you might well go get you a dryer, too. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Get the one that get the one that stack on top of it. Cause I had to tell her, you finna wash them and hang your clothes outside. You are gonna have to rewash them, baby. Yeah. Go on, get the dryer. <laughs> she talking about which kind? The one that matched the washing machine. Don't get too different. You can't one, get bitch. the bigger wash. Oh can't get God. the bigger dryer, bitch. Cause you ain't wash them in the clothes. But you got two. No, don't get too different. It's all kind of free pussy out here. Don't believe the hype. Bro, trust me, bro. The free pussy is they they learning now. They learning. They I'm learning. telling you, you may get it first two times for the free ski. This bitch is scheming. What happened, she bro? Watching. You might as well tell the story. No, I just deal with a lot of hoes. That's just what they do. Like, you know. That's what happens <laughs> when you get caught up in the matrix of hoes. You, 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 you don't bought a washing machine. 
You done bought he, dry. He, in, he caught up in the whole matrix. <laughs> no, but see what it is, is I'm All the type right. of nigga that understands that this shit costs sometimes. you time. about the whole matrix. Mm -hmm. I ain't tripping. It costs to lay down. With one hoe, you meet another hoe, and down. now you about 36 layers deep in the whole matrix. You got to get out that But see circle. what it is, is you damn near trigger bitch and say, bitch, you don't You damn near. Me. You. Cause if your friend knew I bought you that washing machine, bitch, <laughs> she finna double up. <laughs> she finna be like, See how girl, you know that nigga, he done bought you a washing machine, ho? That's how it started, Come here, man. <laughs> what you need? You, that's how you, you go need from bad to worse. Car, I heard you squeaking when you rolled up. <laughs> this nigga fuck with bitches who are on they last. <laughs> like that shit going last. bad. It's they break they, going out. This bitch. They, hey, what's up? She met Carlos Miller. And you know I kicked off my own tour because at the end of the day, I got to be on tour and I want to go back to one of my favorite cities in the world, New Orleans. What's happening, baby? So she you ever get mad at your side bitch because she asked you to eat her pussy? Like, man, why am I in a relationship? <laughs> you think I disrespect my lady out here just eating pussy like this? Come on, man. March 24th, I will be at the Orpheum Theater. Tell everybody, I need the whole boot there. Boot up and bring my little boot from across the way, too. And all the people in Mississippi who live down south, gonna drive down there. You know how we doing. Act like it's my birthday. March 24th, we're in New Orleans with it. Bring me some beads and show me some titties. Definitely show me some titties, even if you don't bring the beads. All right, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a better person. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. And I'm here to tell you about Prize Picks. Look, I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't know for a fact that it works. I signed up and they have what's called a 100% deposit match. So that means if you put $50 in there, they'll give you $50. If you put $100 in there, they give you $100. It's up to $100. So take advantage of that. I'm already up on them folks, man. You feel me? So what it is, you can go in there, you pick like two to six players. You can pick the over and the under on points, rebounds, assists, steals, whatever it is that's your niche. So if you go in there and they say, man, Carlos Miller gonna have 85 points, and you don't think I'm gonna score 85 points, and then I go out and I score 85 or more points, and the people who believed in me and said I was gonna score 85 or more, they getting paid. But you haters who said I wasn't. You get nothing. It works exactly like that. I'm telling you, it's not hard to understand if you're one of them people who have trouble understanding, but I need you to understand that I want you to go over and download the app at Prize Picks and use the promo code 85 South. It's that simple. I want you to do it so you can be up on them folks. So when you see me, we'll have something to talk about. Download Prize Picks today and play daily fantasy sports with us. Make sure you use promo code 85 South when you sign up. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. It is a new year and hopefully, you know, you got out with the old you and bringing in the new you. That's right. This episode is sponsored by the good folks over at Blue Chew. Look, the process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. So if you can benefit from some extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Shoe for free when you use our promo code 85SELF at checkout and you'll just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SELF to, re to receive your first month free. BlueChew.com, go get you some. For real, for real. BlueChew.com and go get you some because you can make love to your lady. You really can. Hit the website, use my promo code. Tell them Carlos sent you. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. I like to settle. I'm I, like, bitch, you selling it for the squeak? I don't wait because I couldn't. You selling it for the squeak at that time. No, bro. I, I like to fuck with bitches that settle and then you upgrade them. Like, listen, I don't need to hear you riding down the block. <laughs> You need to pull up smooth as possible. Yeah. I mean, they, See, be, they, they do be good looking, too, though. always going to cost you something. <laughs> this nigga said... That way it catch me off guard. I'd be like, bitch, you... This nigga said... You. This nigga said... We ain't got no washing machine. <laughs> God, you can tell they clothes smell like their house. <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs>
<laughs> I remember one time I just sprayed a bit with some cologne. I was like, <laughs> she's like, wait. I was like, man, you smell like somebody's house. <laughs> You're a terrible motherfucker, man. I tell you the truth. When I was fucked up, they told me the truth. I was like, let's just go somewhere. She was like, we went. How? I was like, shit, you right. <laughs> and I was expecting you to come fuck with me. <laughs> I thought I was giving you good conversation to go out somewhere. Nah, they ain't fuck with all that good conversation. Shit ain't talking about nothing. Yeah, exactly. You caught up in the whole matrix. Yeah. It is what it is, man. That's why I keep a little calm. It's a tax right off. The whole matrix. Yes, the whole matrix is real. It's a tax right off. You fuck with one terrible motherfucker, they gonna lead you to three terrible motherfuckers, and mm. now you gotta just cut off everything. It's just like... You gotta get reset. But you know they hang, they hang in packs, but they they cover it up to act like one is better than the other. Yeah, so they be trying to make it seem like yeah. once you one get bitch, to the, the underworld, the main bitch who look like she the best one. Yeah, that's the one that's hope more hurt. That bitch ain't got no <laughs> furniture. She ain't, that's why you can't come over her house. <laughs> yeah, my house still getting built, bitch. Your house been getting built. Yeah. For like a year and a half. You couldn't flip it the way you thought you could. That'd be the bad one. That you thought that was an Airbnb. You thought you it was, you thought you was worth more. The than... least. <laughs> you about to get kicked out. Right. <laughs> you trying to Airbnb your apartment? <laughs> they don't know I be there sometimes. Oh, you sleeping? Right? <laughs> so okay, nobody can go in this back closet <laughs> because you there. <laughs> this bitch wake up. Nobody can go in this back closet. This bitch wake up in there. <laughs> this bitch wake up in the middle of the night use the bathroom. Yeah. Scare the shit out the people in there. Hey, hey man, hey! <laughs> Nigga, this the ring. I just saw a little wet bitch. <laughs> little wet bitch just ran. <laughs> 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 oh shit. She ran back. Leave me in the bed. Uh, <laughs> oh, she ran back in the car. <laughs> what are niggas doing? Oh, man? shit. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. Man. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> 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 you just see wet puddles and shit, just going to, going to under the, under the, and they're trying to sneak to the the closet. Closet. They, put, they, they put their hand in the car, they big, they get lower and lower. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Did you leave the line? Oh, you talking about I see the little white man. I see the little white man. What is this? Tell me somebody in here. Show yourself. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You talking about I see the little white bitch on the ring? <laughs> on the ring. Oh, oh, you hear that? You hear that? Oh. That's the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is funny, oh, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 oh, man, fuck this. That is funny. That is funny. You talking about the mitt red right back to the side? That shit's stupid. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> It is fucking hilarious. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What you say, though? Hey, man. Mr. Tuck. It's a little wet. A little wet. A little wet, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Put this bottle here. Oh, <laughs> hey, you hear a shower running? Oh, that is Why are these puddles? Oh, <laughs> shit. Funny, bro. Y'all stupid as fuck, man. That's a movie, bro. I just see a little white man running. <laughs> That's hilarious. That shit's stupid. Somebody is really doing that, bro. Living in there with the Airbnb. They be having, they be having. <laughs> They call she be sending texts and shit. I gotta stop by there and look at some stuff. Bitch, you been in here. 
<laughs> you ain't got to stop. Bitch, I heard the thing when I said back. Okay. Damn oh. me. Airbnb version trapped in the closet. <laughs> he telling them they ain't left yet. Y'all ain't left yet. How you know? Nigga, Airbnb. Y'all got to leave. <laughs> you are past. Your, you have to leave. You just hear my fucking eating crackers. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> you ain't. That nigga said he saw a little white right. man running. You won't even know I'm here. You won't even know I'm in there. Oh, shit. If you hear anything, it just, you know, the, the house funny, makes a bro. few sounds. Yeah, that's bitch, that's stupid, you. Like, I'm going to be there, but I'm going to be mostly in the garage. You ain't, ain't going to even know I'm in there. Really? <laughs> they can do that for the right price. That's funny, bro. Motherfucker be $10. Well, for the whole day? I see a little white bitch. Discount? Right back. Nigga gonna be in there, right but it's gonna be cheaper. <laughs> Niggas will take that. I got one one time when I first went out to LA. When somebody and, had a back house? Well, the lady was in there, uh-huh. but she was like, I'm finna leave. And I was just like, okay. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> like, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had a back house before and I thought I had the house. I pulled up and I seen the big ass house. I got excited and then I tried to put the code and it didn't work. He like, no, nigga, you house. behind me, bro. <laughs> go around. <laughs> you tell you, hey, go around. Man, that was cool, though. It was cool, though, but I was hot. <laughs> oh, my mama, that I'm shit ain't cool. Y'all I don't like staying in the Airbnb. It feel like I'm on the run. <laughs> I don't know you, why, you, you but... Gotta, you gotta stay at a nice ass house, my boy. You, you know what? Be, uh, you can't hair, be cool enough to anything. A hair at an Airbnb feel much worse than a hair at a hotel. Oh, fact. Because I feel like a hotel, I can complain that they gonna give me something, but that Airbnb, I'd be like... Now, I ain't even gonna lie. They didn't clean my Airbnb up, so when I look behind the dresser, I seen... Who some, do I contact? Some, like some, panty, some pantyhose. No, Damn. man. I seen like three on them, though. You see what I'm saying? So I'm the nigga, me being a nigga, I'm like, all right, I mind my business. I'm not going to touch the pantyhose. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm like, dang, the cleaning people ain't seen the first time. I know they ain't going to see them the second time. Then they going to hit me up time. I'm like, you dirty. You leaving pantyhose. I'm like, that. <laughs> you got to trap us a pussy. I you got to get. trap us a pussy. I ain't even get it. Nah, <laughs> Nigga, you a hot five, you had a board. But then the thing ain't though, work. But then the thing though, your cleaning so people ain't clean. I didn't call you about your cleaning people on me. You called me like I may as well have dirty. <coughs> they don't be cleaning right. them motherfuckers. They don't be cleaning them bitches. They don't be cleaning shit, nigga. I, I stayed in one Airbnb, I ain't staying no more than the motherfucker. I was in one one day and found a Kappa shirt, that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Kappa shirt? This bitch is on her way over. <laughs> It was a Kappa t-shirt. Damn. Yeah, it was some freaky shit going on in them. I don't want to think I had some Kappa nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get So you a Kappa? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the weird. I ain't no Kappa. I'm like, what you doing? What the fuck you got a shirt in? Am I going to take it off? <laughs> you talking about them niggas that do this? <laughs> Damn. He left without it? I was like, <laughs> take it off. I was it's like, 20 like, degrees outside. I was like, why didn't you leave this motherfucker That's up? That's fucked up, because you know he got his ass whooped for losing that shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got his ass whooped. Well, your shirt is. <laughs> they turned the cans upside down. Who the motherfucker can't come here, motherfucker? You ever had one of them motherfuckers give you the, the signal in their hand? In their hand? They think you thinking you want a, a They know I'm not one of them niggas. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, that shit crazy. Mm-mm. That shit like a gang. Man, I ain't gonna fuck. Y'all, any, y'all, any of y'all in the fraternity, y'all? Mm-hmm. Uh, nah. This, 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 uh, Chico I, this is the fraternity right here. Oh, yeah, Chico in here, yeah, Alpha. This is the fraternal order. Yeah, Alpha. Yeah. Yeah, Alpha. And he know his shit, too. Yeah. When he be seeing them other niggas, like, he be popping his shit. Yeah. 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 They be like, you Alpha? He be like, yeah, it's nothing but hold tight. And I be like, that nigga crap. I'm like, no, don't talk about Chico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them niggas tough. Good. I'm gonna Good be a Q one going time. to school ass niggas. I'm gonna be a Q <laughs> when I when I went to school. <laughs> Them niggas good at going to school. You gotta have a GPA to get in that shit. <laughs> no, 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 you yeah, don't. I'm gonna be a Q when I went. Why didn't you? Cause Your one GPA. of the niggas who was a, is a Q, he told me some real shit. Yeah, but you got to like, say. He was like, man, they spanking niggas. I was it's like, it's a little, it's a little too freaky. He was like, they spanking niggas. You gotta get spanked. I don't say that all Q do that, but I'm just saying Damn. that particular Q. And they said they were spanking. He was like, hey, but that paddle, 
spank. I'm like, you got spank? He was like, yeah, they hit me one time. Like and nigga, I'm like, you got hit? He was like, yeah, they hit me one time. I'm like, yeah, they hit my body? He was like, yeah, I got hit. I can't imagine they keep spanking you, though. That not that you should just spank Man, you got to pay a fee and have a GPA, man. Hey, the nigga with dad's here. I'm like, you got spanked? Yeah. He was like, yeah, they hit me one time. I'm like, what's that? He was like, lip. I'm like, that? That fucked up. They particular on the side? <laughs> Yeah, what side you want it on? The left or the right. Yeah, anytime you gotta join some shit, they gonna hit you. You gotta get oh, they hit. Gonna hit you. That's part of the shit. You could be a chef. You think the chefs ain't gonna jump you in the damn deep freezer? You got the game fucked up. Nah, 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 oh, you no thought you was just gonna cater a party? Nigga. But... <laughs> <laughs> hit him with the chicken. Hit him with the chicken. Nigga, you slap with a lamb. Come on, man. <laughs> you really want that shit, man? Oh, you, you ain't, ain't going no deep freezer meat. Blue, nigga. <laughs> deep freezer meat? What do you got getting stuck in the deep freezer though? <laughs> nigga, hit with a hole. <laughs> in that bitch for a whole hour. <laughs> Dion, hit that nigga with the lights. It's just a bitch. Yep. <laughs> yes, nigga. The fuck? I'm gonna fuck y'all up and I can feel my hands. <laughs> y'all took this nigga to the butcher shop yet? <laughs> Yeah. That's the code for whip that nigga in the freezer. Right. <laughs> oh, you ain't never made a wedding cake. Hey, man, help me with the wedding cake, man. <laughs> go, go, go. Hey, they probably, you can't do that shit no more. They probably yeah, you can't hate no more. All that anti-bullet, now them niggas be like, spank yourself. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny as hell. You spank you. <laughs> Spank you, you want to be in? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga be faking it, that was a Spank you, 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 Nigga, like you ain't hear yourself. Yes, I am. Like, man, get your bitch ass up, man. You win already, nigga. You was in after the second hit, nigga. That's hilarious, bro. Shit, the hell out this shit. Boy, that's hilarious. Hey, what's up, Mobile? March 25th. I'm coming back to the Sanger Theater. You already know how I do when I come down there, Mobile. So look, the night before we in New Orleans, then we're gonna shoot across and come to Mobile, cause I figure why be that close to Mobile and not go to Mobile? March 25th. You ever wanna just switch baby mamas? You ever be fucking another nigga baby mama? Like, damn, ooh, I wish I would've nutted in you first. Get your tickets. Don't wait until the day of and show up and get the tickets. Buy the tickets before the show so we can keep the tour going. Yeah, because the people who own the theater don't believe y'all coming. And if y'all don't buy a bunch of tickets beforehand, they not going to believe in me. And I know that I got the streets on lock, but I got the type of audience that be wait. Don't wait. This, this ain't one of them situations. March 25th. Mobile. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy DC on Fly. In case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we are currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85 per center. Right, spread it out. Code 85 P E R C E N T E R. Once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube. All of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like Five on it, 80 Vibes, and even get your special offers and discounts for 85 South merchandise. And the shows, it's only $8.50 a month or $85 for the whole year. And you can find us online at China85.com or on your iPhone, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, Roku, and even on Android. And remember, use code 85PERCENTER for 20% off for a whole six months. That's channel 85, subscribe.
What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex T. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And I got some really good news for y'all. Yes, period, y'all. We are about to revamp our whole Patreon. Yes. We got so much new shit coming soon for y'all. Like, we about to be doing challenges. We about to be doing blogs. Mm -hmm. We really about to be dropping a lot of exclusive content for y'all. So, if one episode a week is not enough, y'all about to get some more content on Patreon. Yes, y'all be saying, oh, make the episodes longer. I need twice a week. Well, this is your opportunity to see us twice a week. And also, you kind of get, you're going to get a look into our lives mm -hmm. and know us on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all sign up at patreon.com backslash poor mind. Sign up today. There's different tiers. So if you want audio only, you can just listen. If you want video and audio, we have that too. And also we have a top, top tier where you get exclusive access to merch, shows, all that good mm -hmm. stuff. So go to patreon.com backslash poor minds and sign up today. Period. Want to be a myself. part of you by you? <laughs> now take wow. your cheek. <laughs> 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 oh, we are. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> we ain't gonna hate us for that shit. Hey, they don't do that no more. We not talking about them. They That's something that. they used to do. Them still do that. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. Spank yourself, <laughs> rookie. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more hands at a time. This nigga here. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> I take the hands at a time. Oh <laughs> shit. But y'all nigga is dumb, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> when nigga do be doing that, they be going like to the grave sites and shit. They do hey, like that stupid enough. ass we can't, shit. We can't speak on it. We ain't in it. Oh, yo, fuck. They be talking that. about us regular niggas. I'm finna talk about them. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? They make it seem like we the outcast. Man, you know, nigga, man, shut up, nigga. You got spanked. No. <laughs> Give a fuck what fraternity I am. I ain't no nigga spanking me, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm in the game. I would've just told them, nigga, I'm in it. Who gonna say I ain't? <laughs> I bet I ripped this shit. <laughs> man, I'm just right in the line, nigga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoop my ass, nigga. Mm -hmm. Nigga. Fuck why you tell me. Why would you want to? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, it got me fucked up. <laughs> I know all the chants. He ain't gonna tell me to be quiet in the middle of the chat. <laughs> Chapter the president come down. We heard he didn't spank himself. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, you didn't go through the proper <laughs> <laughs> protocols. Now, if you want to be down, you got one more step. <laughs> Spank yourself, fool. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> hey, man. And what if you went through all that and that was the last thing? Like, you done went through everything. They done sent you on a little punk, punk okay. head, little ride. Like, you know, you go out there and steal out of the store. They just want to see. Your loyalty. I'm oh, with that. <laughs> what you want me to do with this paddle, my boy? Hey. What you say? You want me to hit me? Up. They know how you feel. You the only one that didn't get hit. Ooh. Then you make it into the shit and they shut it down. Nigga, they was hitting y'all. <laughs> y'all got hit? <laughs> they can't. They can't hit motherfuckers no more. Nah, they can't do that. Nah, that really, really, it's, it's really a big hit. Big motherfuckers are dead. Oh shit, I didn't know that. that I thought that shit used to be serious, serious, nigga. Yeah, they, be, before, yeah. before the spanking shit, like back then, that shit was like on some real gangster shit. Like I think, like once the 2000s, shit done got watered down. But like the 80s, 90s, Man. it was real deal. Revenge like, of the nerds. These my pond, like these <laughs> niggas was real <laughs> niggas. School days. Them 20, yeah. them 20 thousand motherfuckers. Big brother Dean Almighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but we fuck with them though, cause I went to school, so it's just fun to see them, them the niggas nah, that's running the school. Yeah. I be like, I'm saying a lot of these niggas weed, they trying to be cool. Yeah. Let me get a half out. I'm like, man, shut your ass. You got spanked. <laughs> and you That's shout every time. They don't give you 10 grand every time. They don't give you 10 grand every time. Just be scared of that. Who did a whooping? <laughs> Anybody say whooping? <laughs> nah, we fucked with them though. Shit, yeah. <laughs> they ain't gonna book us at no schools. <laughs> shit, uh, shooting this show um, called Average Joe. For uh, BT. Pop it. Plus. Okay. Pop it. Let's go. Paramount Plus. Pop it. Yeah, definitely. So, down here shooting that. And uh, once I'm done with that, uh, 
go sit my ass down for a minute. I've been shooting that shit for some months, so. Then after that, uh, go tour. Go work on some material and then go tour. So what's That's your sit down process like when you say, ah, I'm gonna sit my, you know, everybody say that, cause once we get to get the shit moving. This when you go to the medieval castle. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. This, so when you this, say this sit down, you live what's life? your sit down process? Well, like two, three no, months? No, 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 I can't sit for two, three months. I can sit for about two weeks. Damn. Sit down for two weeks and then after that, then I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get antsy and shit. Right. I'm gonna be like, all right, let me go out. Let me right. go, let me go do something. I'll be thinking I'm finna go sit out. out. Let me go see what's dogs. happening. Let me go live. Yeah, go around and do some shit or whatever. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, that's my process. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go sit down for two weeks and then I'm gonna. Just start venturing out, going places, doing shit, you know. So when you say I'm coming off tour, it's because you have the TV shows and everything else that's taking up time from you not being on the road yeah, every yeah, weekend. Yeah, 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 I can't. Like I, like, I can't at all. Like, right now, like I said, this show is, like, number one priority. Right. Getting this out there. And, uh, you know, it's a show where um, people ain't seen me in this... People ain't seen me like this, right, you know, right. so I've really been like focusing, focusing where I put stand up aside for a minute where I can focus on this because it's a way different departure than anybody right. ever seen me before, you know. Uh, when we was doing The Harder They Fall, that was like, I, I guess, an introduction to people seeing me being serious. Come on, man. And so you did shit. You did that, shit. Like, oh, yeah. That shit was smooth. Yeah. 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 That shit was smooth. And it's fun to see. Because we got drunk with it. And we saw you in action. That is going crazy. When we got to see a motherfucker, I'm like, oh, we going to get the goddamn. Yeah, yeah. We just get loose. Yeah, we just get loose. You did that. You did that. Yeah, so after that, I think people was like, yo, I think he can. He can he can pull this off. So hopefully when people see nah, it, man. they you know see this. You shit, got it, bro. It's like a, it's on some ill ass gangster shit. I can't wait. Okay. Yeah. So okay. how the hell you get the old spice commercial? And then not only get the old spice commercial, they love your ass. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you tell the motherfucker they love because you ain't here with that one. It's a new skit every time. Like, the old spice cheap. man in this bitch. <laughs> they done took the half horse nigga out. They said fuck that shit. <laughs> Put the curly head. Motherfucker, in every country, the nigga over there with the horse knife. That's fucked up. That used to be the first place, nigga. We need Dion for our pack shit. So how did that come about? The horse. He tried to go on the road with the horse. It's me, but he ain't had the horse on. Nobody knew who he was. Look at your man. Now look at me. Now back to your man. Now back to me. Now look at the legs. You know me now? Hell no. Who is you? So how did that come about? Yo, um, so me being, so me being on Conan, I used to do all these like, like quirky characters. Then I was on this show called Angie Tribeca where we used to do yeah, Jones, yeah, where we used to right, do right. all these weird shit. So we used to do on that. And then on Blackish, I played this character who was kind of weird too, like uh, Charlie and shit on Blackish. And so they was like, we looking for uh, like a. Uh, you know, everyday dude, you know. I, I, the first thing I said, I was like, I ain't got no muscles and shit, nigga. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't getting, I ain't getting on no horses and shit. No. <laughs> I was like, I ain't even in shape for no horse. <laughs> so they was like, nah, nah, we just looking for an everyday kind of guy, or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So they kept talking to me. And then one day they was like, man, they sent me a ticket, told me to go to Portugal. I went over there, shot some shit. And then next thing I know, they was like, yeah, this is great. We're gonna make you the, the ambassador. That, that sounds like a dream, nigga. Yeah. That's the, the crazy that's part about it is, I almost bought some Old Spice today. <laughs> yeah. I was in CVS, I walked past, I was like, nigga, go ahead, nigga. <laughs> oh, I wanted to get, I just went for old time sake, like that. <laughs> Shit still smell like 2008, nigga. <laughs> shit lit. Oh, man. Nah, that's yeah, beautiful, though, just nah, to see yeah. you keep real caring in there. just because of you. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, I bought yeah. your yeah. shit. Yeah, but they didn't yeah. have your shit in too. Yeah. They had the regular shit. Yeah, yeah. They had the old, old. Yeah, they had the old, like, the original. The OG. <laughs> <laughs> the original. Oh, With the blue shit on that motherfucker. They got like, so many commercials. <laughs> Niggas explain they so why they didn't get Old Spice. Nigga, that was the Man, first, that was the first Cologne Boy, you open a real bottle of that old, old Spice, the first thing you gonna hear is, put that down, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was for whatever. Man, if you play with these niggas, man, that's what we said. You want to know what we said on the rest of this video? Go to that. Just in case you're wondering what we're doing, we are now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they done finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, now you gotta know what we said. You gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on Apple it's just TV? available directly where they sell apps. Oh, they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it. I thought we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. It's Roku the most everywhere. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did yeah. you know that? It's $8.50 and then you got to pay tax. Yeah. So, you know, it's $8. You know, we get on all type of content. You know what? We're not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the, the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free, what about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for Let's free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come year. invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the bad. Somebody read every fucking comment. And the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. We hear you. We heard. We hear you. We win and did. We'll just get the fuck on at y'all way. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, where the rest of it I at? I think they should get 37 minutes. Oh, see? We gotta hurry yeah, we up. We should put a whole bunch of ads in between. Like long ads ads. Like five minute ads. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, you, you. Slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. <laughs> Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah, uh, let's just, uh, Go ahead and make sure. Channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like this? Deep thrust, huh? Go get it on the app. Yeah. That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. Jump cuts, yep. clips, all types of types of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the app. Got sport show. Yep. Talk show, documentary. Chico got a handwriting class that he teach. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit look like right. this. But we're working on it, and you can see it on the app. It's they didn't, the e app. didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No cap. They don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a $5,000 on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh, man. No cap. We got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right. It's on the no app. Cap. So if you want to see some shit that, you know, they trying to hide from you. Go to the app. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. $8.50, $8.99 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really $3, but adjusted for inflation is eight dollars Yeah. Well, low C. Get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. We're working for free. Uh, we are going on out, baby. We are going on out.
We on your way too, Fly. Oh, yeah.